Recently, I've been looking for a way to easily save emails as PDF on my Mac. Now you may know hitting Command P can open up an email and hitting the down arrow, you can save as PDF. I have added a keyboard shortcut for that and I've got a separate blog post and video on that that I'll put in the notes here, but I can get it now down to two steps. So I hit Command P twice, Command P once, and then Command P again, and now I've got a PDF that I can save. But that's not good enough. I wanted to rename the file with the actual date of the email, not the date I'm running the script. I wanted to put the name of the recipient and the sender without manually typing it in. And I also wanted the subject line in. And to make things even more complicated, I wanted to put email as a tag. So when I save it, Hazel has the ability to automatically file it as an email. How do I do that? With Apple Script. So here is the Keyboard Maestro script I have generated to solve this problem. The first thing it does is run an Apple script. And I've got this Apple script also available for download along with this script for this video. And it does a few things. You can clear these variables out and then go to the Apple Mail application and pull out some variables. It gets the date of the email, the sender, the recipient, and the subject. So it's saving all those four things as variables. Then I need to do a whole bunch of Apple script to turn the date into an ISO standard date. So it displays as year, uh, month, day, the way I want it to do. So that's a bunch of this Apple script. And then it's gonna set a new name and the new name variable is the message year with a dash, then the message month, then the dash, the message day, then a dash, then the hours, minutes, and seconds as one block. And then the name of the sender dash recipient dash subject line. And then the last thing it does, because I'm running this in Keyboard Maestro, is it tells the Keyboard Maestro application to set a variable called new name in Keyboard Maestro based on the variable we recreated in Apple Script called new name. It's, I'm going a little fast through this stuff, but you can kind of parse your way through it. And, and you can download it and play with it. The next thing I'm going to do in Keyboard Maestro after it gets all that information, it's going to hit Command P, you know, just like we did a minute ago manually, and then it's gonna pause for two seconds. That pause is longer than necessary, but I wanna visually see that it created the PDF because sometimes that print to PDF doesn't exactly work. Then it's gonna hit Command P again, and it needs a, a little bit of time to generate the PDF, so I have a 1.2 second delay. And at that point, the cursor is going to be in the name of the file. So I'm gonna hit Command A to select the whole name of the cursor and I'm gonna wait a half second, and then I'm gonna paste in new name. That's that thing we just created in Apple Script here that's got the date, the, the sender, the recipients, all that details. So we're putting a new name in a file. We're gonna pause 0.3 seconds. We're gonna hit the tab key. That gets you down to the tag bar in the file save menu. Pause another 0.3 seconds, and then write the word email, and that's gonna add the email tag. And that's the whole script. The hardest part is this Apple script. I walked you through it earlier, but here it is in a script editor. I'll put the script in so you can download it and play with it yourself. Have fun with it, change it however you need, but I'm real happy with the way it's working for me. And before I leave, just note that the trigger for this is Option Command P. All right, so let's see it in action. I'll minimize Keyboard Maestro, minimize Script Editor. I've got this email from Rose. Here we go. Option Command P. There's a two second delay. Yeah, it looks like I got it. And now it's just created the file. If you look up here into, it's got the email tag already. I could type in a client name right next to it so it would be able to save both the word email and the client as tags. And then I've got a Hazel on the back end looking for those. So if it sees, you know, the email tag and the client name of Wiley Coyote, it's going to put it in the Wiley Coyote email file for me automatically. And if you look at the name, it's got the year, the month, the day, the time of the email, 150340. And you can see right there, it's 3.03 p.m. So that's right. The sender, Rosemary Orchard, the recipient, David Sparks, and then the subject line, the next automator's recording. If you'd like to automatically download your email as PDF, this is a great way to do it. Download the script, let me know what you think about it. Maybe let me know if you make it better. But either way, enjoy. 
And if this is all new to you, you should head over to learn.maxsparky.com and check out my Keyboard Maestro field guide. It's four and a half hours of streamable or downloadable video content, all designed to make you a wizard with Keyboard Maestro.